you're first gonna need your PS3 updated to the latest version, which is 4.9 as the making of this video. And you're also gonna need a FAT32 formatted USB drive. You'll also need a wired or wireless connection. In case you're wondering if this is gonna work for your PS3, this jailbreak is gonna work with all models of the Slim except the 3000 series. So you can check in the back, should be a serial code sticker. Once you have all the requirements ready, let's get started. We're gonna be making some changes to the settings then head down to system settings and we're going to be turning off the automatic updates. Next, we're going to head down to the date and time setting. We're going to change the setting to set via internet. And then you want to go down to set automatically and we're going to turn this to on. If for some reason the time isn't correct on your end, you can change the time zone or the date line saving and then that should correct the time for you. Now that we're done with the system settings, we're gonna go into the internet browser. Once you're in the internet browser, you're gonna wanna head to tools. Make sure that your cookies are set to allow. Then you wanna scroll down to cookies and we're gonna be deleting them. Press X and then we're gonna go back into tools. Once you're back in tools, we're gonna be deleting the search history. And then go into tools again. And then this time we're gonna be deleting the cache. We're also gonna be deleting the authentication information. And once that's done, we're going to exit the internet browser. Now you're going to want to reopen it again. You'll also want to change the home page to a blank page. So just go ahead and click use blank page and then scroll down to OK. Press select and then we're going to go into the PS3 exploit website. Depending on your internet, it might take a minute for it to load, but just let it do its thing. A pop up is going to come up and it's going to ask you if you'd like to allow this plugin. Just click yes. After that, you're going to see another pop-up come up and it's going to be to donate to the PS3 exploit team. You can go ahead and donate. I went ahead and donated to them so they can keep the project alive. A little bit goes a long way. You don't have to donate if you guys don't want to. And then just go ahead and click OK. You see clean up at the bottom of the text. That's going to mean that it's done. After that, we're going to go ahead and go into the system setting. Before we start the jailbreak, we're going to be backing up the flash memory. The way to do that is insert the formatted bat 32 USB drive into the PS3. And then we're going to head down to flash memory. You want to click on flash memory and then it's going to say flash memory backup. Make sure to just click on that. See another window pop up and you're going to want to click on USB 000. And then just click on save. This is going to take a couple minutes. It took me about like three minutes. And then once it's done, you're going to just close it. You can go ahead and eject the USB drive from the PS3 and connect it into your computer at this moment. And I'm going to leave the links in the description. We're going to be downloading the Pi PS3 checker. With the PS3 checker, we're going to be checking the dump file that we just saved with the PS3 tools website. We're going to go ahead over to PSX website. And then we're also going to download the custom firmware. There's a bunch of different custom firmwares out there. But in this video, we're going to be trying the Cobra custom firmware. As you can see, there's a bunch of different downloads that you can download. No BD would stand for no Blu-ray drive. I'm going to go ahead and click on the first one because my PS3 is normal. Everything's working fine. And I'm just going to wait for these to download. And open up the flash drive that you plugged into your computer. Once you open the USB drive, you're going to see the dump.hex file. Go over to the PS3 loader file, open the folder, and you should see the drag and drop your dump hex here. You can dump the file in the same folder as the PS3 loader, and then you'll want to drag and drop on top of the batch file. It should run in a series of tests. Zero dangers and zero warnings, you should be good. Make sure to save that dump hex, and if it's not okay, make sure to re-download the PS3 original firmware, and then do a complete restore, and then that should fix any issues that you might be having with errors. And now that you have it backed up onto your computer, you can delete it off of the flash drive. The next file that you need to open is going to be the .zip file with the custom firmware. Extract it, and then you should see several different files in this folder. You see PS3, links, MD5, and then the readme. You're going to want to copy the PS3 file folder onto the root of the USB drive that you're going to be using for the PS3. If for some reason the folder doesn't download like it's supposed to and everything downloads separately, you'll want to make a PS3 folder and inside of that folder you want to make an update folder and then drag that custom firmware inside of the update folder. This is just in case when you download it, it doesn't download inside of the pre-made folder. But if you see the pre-made folder that says PS3, just drag and drop it onto the root of your SD card. You'll want to eject the USB drive so nothing happens to it. And then we're going to be plugging it back into the PS3. Head over to the PS3 toolset website. 
And just in case the PS3 toolset website doesn't want to load and you get an error, what you want to do is just clear your, clear your history, clear the cache, clear everything again, and then close the browser and then op open the internet browser again. And it should work this time. And then everything should be loading like normal without the red loading error. And then we're going to go back into the system manager, select it with the X. And you should see flash memory patch. Want to go ahead and click X on that. And then click on load patch via HTTP. Depending on your internet again, this might take a while. And then once it's done, just click on close. We're going to go ahead and go back into the flash memory patch. This time we're going to click on apply loaded patch and then just click on OK. This one took about five minutes, but once it's done, click on close. Now we're going to be restarting the PS3. Go all the way to the home menu to the left and then scroll up to turn off system. And then once it turns off, turn it back on. There it has restarted. You want to go into system update. You're going to be able to see that custom firmware now. You can install it like you would regularly install any firmware. Just click on OK. You can just scroll through it like you regularly would. Since finished installing, it should restart. And then this time when you turn on the PS3, you should see that the logo on the load screen changed. And if you scroll over to the game section, you're going to see package manager. And then here's going to be where you install any of the packages that you want. I'll make a video on that so you can go ahead and dump your backup files and any games that you want to put on your PS3. Check out my next video and I'll be showing you how to install packages on the jailbroken PS3.